As the project manager of a software development project, you are preparing for a release planned after four iterations. The release is estimated to involve 100 story points. After the second iteration, you review the release burndown chart and find the actual line 20 points above the target line. What does this observation suggest about the release progress? So this particular question in a way is a simple question because it is not much about the situation. It is just testing the understanding of release burn down chart in, for the test taker. So we have a 200, 100 point as a release size we planned in the four iteration. I can fairly assume we were planning to burn 25, 25, 25. Usually this is how we do. And we put the uh, a target line, which goes as a, as a line, a serial line. And after two iterations, you see that the, the maybe yeah, we can say that we should be left with 50, but we are left with 70, you know, 20 points above the uh, uh, target line. So where are we? If we go 25, 25, ideally we should be at 50, but we are at 70. So if you calculate like this, probably the question becomes simple that after two iterations, I am still left with 70 story points where the overall release size was 100 story points. So that's the situation. If you can interpret this, I think it will be easy to answer this particular question. Let's see the option. The release is progressing faster than expected. So definitely no, because you know that in a burn down chart, you in the X axis, you have, yeah, yeah, you, uh, sorry, in the X axis, you have a time. And in the y-axis, you have the remaining work or a remaining work size. If the remaining work is more because you are above the target line, above, yeah. If the remaining work is more, you can't be fast, yeah. Uh, maybe uh, there is something, but you have more work left. That is for sure, yeah. Uh, you can't say that I'm fast. Maybe there could be other reasons, uh, but A is not, not right. Let's see option B. Additional scope has been introduced to the release. It's a possibility, yeah, but not for sure. There is a possibility that we started with 100 story point as a release size. And maybe after two iterations, we were at 50 and someone added that the product owner added 20 more story point that can result into reaching uh, to a stage where you have a 70 point work left. It's a possibility, but the question is not indicating, but I can't be very sure with this information given in the question that 20 story point or some story point work has been added because the question is not indicating or not giving me my velocity of the last two sprints. If question tells me that you have been, uh, 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 the team has been observing the velocity of 25 story point per iteration, then this option becomes clearly right because you have been burning as per the planned velocity, but still you are left with more scope. It means some work has been added. But since that information is missing, I can't 100% uh, say that option B is, is right. Let's see option C. The release is lagging behind the planned schedule. That is clearly indicative. I have more work left. I'm behind. Now, that's the simplest, easiest thing we can get from this information because that's the purpose of burn down chart only. The burn down chart shows how far we are from our target. And if we are more far from our target, then we know we are behind the schedule from what we expected in this particular case. Option D, the team productivity is uh, 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 below the initial estimation. It could be right. Yeah, it could be right, but I am not very sure about it. It is same like option B. Now, there is a possibility the team might not be able to finish 25 story point per iteration, but there is also a possibility that we have some blockers, some external impediments, which are forcing us not to finish the 25 story point per iteration. So even if team wants to do it, they have external dependency, which is blocking them. And there is also a possibility some additional scope has been added during these two iterations. So additional scope can make this situation happen. The impediments blockers can make this situation happen. The re-estimation of existing uh, uh, work can make this situation happen and definitely less than estimated velocity can also make this happen. So it's possible, but I can't be very sure that this thing is happening. So whenever my, in a burn down chart, my actual point is above the target point, it means I'm behind and I have more work left in my release. And that's why option C is the right option here.
This question is mapped to our ECO process task six, which is simple plan and manage schedule. But here we focused on plan and manage schedule using agile ways of working. Yes, we looked into a topic related to release tracking, and we also explored a release burndown chart in this particular question.